Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my intro for the new round of Throwback 30. This is a project I created years ago because I want to do all the projects all the time and I just can't. I don't have that kind of time. I only have one body, one head of hair, one face. Granted my head of hair is, you know, the equivalent of like three heads of hair, but I digress. I still only have one of like the normal things that everyone has and I just, I can't do all the projects all the time because it's just too much. I could not film and up load that amount of products and projects and everything else because there's just not enough days in a month. Even the long ones, there's not enough time. So I created this so I can get just a little snippet of all of the projects. And originally when I brought this project to the group, I picked the projects that we were working on. There was a lot less to choose from back then. Now we do it as a poll. We put in, I think over a hundred projects and um, we, we took a poll and everyone voted on the top 30 that they wanted to see in the throwback 30 for this new round and here we have it. This project starts today on July 28th and will go till July 28th of next year and we'll have voted on some new projects for the next round by then of course and this is open to anyone that wants to join in. You don't have to be a part of the Facebook group. You just get to like do whatever you want to do. The only trick to this is if you're not familiar with the projects and all of the prompts, it's going to be hard to pick prompts for some of these because they are prompt based. So that might be a little tricky, but if you watch your favorite YouTube panner and you want to just do whatever their prompts are, you can do that too. So there are ways to make it work for you, even if you're not on the Facebook group. Okay, so let's get into these 30 prompts, the 30 products and all of the, the craziness that ensues. I am going to start in order just because it is easy. I think I put them in alphabetical order. So anything that starts with a number, of course, is going to go first. And the first one up is 50 Shades of Brown, which we are currently working on. You will notice that some of these products, actually quite a few of these products are rollovers from other projects that I was unable to finish. Not everything is, but there are a good amount of them. The first one is definitely a rollover. This is the Essence Bronze This Way palette, and I am bringing in the shade No Mistakes. I want to say I either had it in Throwback 30 or that 70s pan, but I want it done. It's this shade right here. I will mark, take pictures, all that kind of stuff after I'm done filming, but I feel like I can definitely get this one done. I have good progress on it to start with and I, I don't think it's going to be a problem. You will be seeing that palette again. Next up is 50 Shades of Green and for that I have the Star Looks Gem Pencil in Ultra Olive. And for 50 Shades of Pink, can you see all the 50 shades are in here? I have the Coastal Scents Hot Pot and this is in Pink Silver. For 50 Shades of Purple, I have the Essence Get Big Lashes. It is the Triple Black. And my dogs are probably going to start barking in a minute because I just heard my husband pull into the driveway. So for 50 Shades of Yellow or Gold, I have, again, the Essence Bronze This Way palette. And there goes Jaeger. He hears his daddy in the driveway. I have chosen this shade right here. It is called Superstar and it is a gold shade. And of course, my my goal for all of this stuff is going to be to finish. I don't think I mentioned that, but everything in here I want to finish. And then I'm keeping this palette out, and this is for Seven Deadly Pans. It's all about the Seven Deadly Sins. I chose Pride or Vanity because it's the easiest one to pick something for, and this shade right here is called Love Yourself. Not that that's a problem, but you know, it fit the prompt, so again, I want to finish that. Now we are getting into the alphabetized projects, and it's Fitting that it starts with Beauty A to Z, since that is about the alphabet. Because you could literally pick any product, I chose to do this randomly. So I have a screen grab of me spinning a wheel to get my letter. I got the letter I, so I'm bringing in the Ion Healthy Scalp Solutions Build Up Remover and Daddy's Daddy's going back out now. <laughs> He's just taking the trash out, but you know, the dogs, they have to let everyone know. For Burstone Beauty, I have brought in a Buxom lip gloss, and this one, this one is big. This is the full size. You usually see me working on the half size. This one is in the shade Ruby, because Ruby is a gemstone. Surprise, surprise, we are going back into the Essence palette, and I have chosen for Budget Beauty because this is a very budget-friendly palette. I think this is like $3.99, super cheap, and I have chosen Perfect Babe 
which is this brown shade down here, the Shimmer. Finally, into one that I had to choose a prompt, and this is for Child of the 80s, and I chose I Want My MTV, and that is something that reminds you of a song, a musician, a band, anything like that. So I am bringing in my NARS American Woman Liquid Lipstick. For the Project Color Pan, that is a ColourPop-based project. I am bringing in one that I didn't finish. This is the ColourPop Jelly Much in Desert Days and you can see what that looks like right there. For Disney Princess, I did this one randomly as well because that is was the original intent of the project to just kind of like randomly pick your princesses and I will put in that screen grab here. I got the Princess Ariel and her colors were teal and purple. So I brought in a teal product. This is the Virtue Recovery Conditioner. And of course, that is to finish. Drop 10 before summer. I feel like I should drop 10 pounds for this because, you know, that was the original intent. We'll see. We'll see if that happens. But you have to bring in a summer themed product and you have to do 10 of them for the project. Of course, you only have to do one for this one. So I am bringing in an already started coconut frosting shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath, which I will only use it as a shower gel, but this is from Philosophy and it definitely smells like coconut, which reminds me of summer. For the Happy Hour Project Pan, I chose the Prompt Keg, which is an item in bulky packaging or a large quantity. Yes, I'm crazy. I'm bringing another one in. This one is scented in lavender and you can see I'm about here. So I have quite a lot in here, but I would like to get this done. And lavender to me is a scent that I can wear a little more frequently. It blends with other stuff. And I also like it as a linen spray on my bed at night. And I think this one I will make very good progress on. For Harry Potter, there were so many variations of this project that I could have chosen from. I actually went with the original one where I had the house colors and there were some other prompts in there as well, but I decided to go with house colors and I chose Gryffindor. I am not um, one of those people that really knows a whole lot about Harry Potter, so that's why I picked the easy thing. And the Gryffindor colors are scarlet and gold. So I get both in one packaging. This is the Bath & Body Works Winter Candy Apple Shower Gel. Again, this was in a project earlier in the year. I wasn't able to finish it. I was holding it in a box on the side, knowing that I wanted to work on it sometime again, and this was the perfect opportunity. For I Heart the 90s, that is obviously all about the 90s. I chose the Prompt Bop It, and that is a product with packaging that pumps, twists, or pulls. Again, another one that I wasn't able to finish. This is the Curl Wow Floetry Vital Natural Serum for your hair, and it's got the pump right there. And I am starting right here at this line. It's panning cats and dogs. I chose the German Short Haired Pointer as my prompt, and that is a product that never ends. <laughs> and it really doesn't ever end. I think this is the third project I've had this in and I still haven't finished it. It just, it takes forever. I generally only use it in the winter time. So we'll see. It, I, I almost feel like if I don't finish it in this project in another year, I should just get rid of it. Even though I do like it, if I'm not using it, why should I even keep it? It's the Exuvian's Age Reverse Hand Peel. Like I said, lovely product. I just don't take the time to use it. For lip service, I am bringing in a lip gloss that I was unable to finish. This is the Avon Glazewear in Berry Cole, and it still has the stopper in it, but I feel like there's plenty of windowing in here. And if I really concentrate on it, I think I can get it done probably in the first quarter of this project. Next up is Mean Girls Quotes. I love this project. I almost wish it would come back as like a whole project. It was so fun. I loved the movie. And I chose, obviously, on Wednesdays we wear pink. That is like the best quote. And it's for a pink item. So I picked the CoverGirl Eye Enhancers in Pink Chiffon. It's not super pink looking. I mean, it, it kind of is, but it's very pale. But it has the name pink, so... It counts. Next up is Nightmare on Panning Street, and I chose the prompt Pet Cemetery, and of course, that is a graveyard item. And of course, I'm bringing in a graveyard palette, and I chose Queen, which is this shade here in the corner, so hopefully I can get that done. For same pan last year, I chose Valentine's Day, which is a red or a pink item or a heart shape. I kind of have both. 
I have um, the First Aid Beauty Fab Pharma BHA Acne Spot Treatment Gel, which I don't use it as a treatment gel. I put it in with my nighttime moisturizer and it's got red, but it's also got a little heart right there. So I thought it would be perfect for this one. For skin is in, that is any kind of skincare product. It can be for your face or body, it doesn't matter. And I brought in the Naturally Serious Hydro Plumping Mask. This was in another project, might have been in my Throwback 30 from last year. And I just, I really, I didn't use it. And hopefully I can get some use on it. That's expensive. I'm bringing in a concealer that I was unable to finish. This is the Yensa Super Silk Serum Concealer. And I, I like, I have the tiniest little window, but if I move the um, wand, it disappears. So I still think there's plenty of product in there but it is not full. For that So 2000s, I chose the Prompt Converse, and that is an everyday item. Of course, lotion to me is an everyday item, and this is the Bath & Body Works Winter Candy Apple. You can see there's tons in here, so hopefully I can get that done. For Golden Girls, I don't even remember what the prompt was called. For some reason, I did not put it on here, but I know that it was um, called for a gold product, and it just makes sense with, of course, the Golden Girls. So I brought in another color ColourPop Jelly Much, and this one is in Early Birdie. This is Pantasy. I chose Chimera, and that calls for a Franken product. So I brought in the Pacifica. This was a duo, and I didn't like the purple that was in it, so I Frankened it. That was all that was left, and there it is. Hopefully I can get that done this time. Tiny Pans was a former Pan That Palette theme within the group. So I am bringing in another Essence Palette. This is My Rose Will Go On, and I have chosen the shade Far, which is this right here. Next up is Turn and Burn. That is a project where you just pick products that are like one-time use, sample size, deluxe sizes, anything that you can use up very quickly. Give me products that have a ton of usage on them. That's the kind of stuff. I have a few things here or there. I'm gonna to attempt to bring a new one in every single month. So I am gonna start with this Sephora Nourishing and Repairing Foot Mask. It's a one-time use thing. It shouldn't be that much of a problem. I do have a few other samples here on the side. I think I'm gonna just choose one every single month. And if I don't have any samples or deluxe sizes left, then I will call the um, prompt done for this project. So I hope that makes sense. To me, in my head, it makes sense. I'm gonna use as many sample and deluxe size things as I can, and then when I get to the point where I just don't have anything that I can use quickly, she's done. Two more to go. I chose for Women Who Rocks the Rachel Platten Fight Song, and that is something that is a fight to either open or use up. This one to me is both. It is the TG Bedhead Hard Head Hard Hold Hairspray. It's almost hard to use. It's hard to open, like I struggle with this cap sometimes. I don't use hairspray very often, and it's a really hard thing to say. So it is a fight. The struggle is real. I would love to get this done. And last but certainly not least is Zodiac Panner. And of course I chose Pisces again because that is my sign. And that calls for Soft Sea Green. And I brought in the Virtue Recovery Shampoo. It almost looks blue on the viewfinder, but it is definitely like a green tint to it. And again, I would like to get this finished. So that is everything for this intro. I'm very excited to be doing this project again. I will have a list of everyone else that has joined in down below. And like I said, if you wanna join in, please join us in this crazy pinning journey. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.